today, our objective is to find parallel lines. Oh, lines. Oh, sorry. Find parallel and perpendicular lines will be our objective today. So, so we have our first definition. We have to know what the words mean. Uh, parallel lines are two exact lines that go in the same direction. Okay. They always remain the same distance apart, and they will never meet. So as long as we can continue them forever and ever, and they'll never cross each other. Perpendicular lines are lines that meet or intersect. So meet would be like this, where they just touch. Intersect would be going right through them. And they intersect or meet to make right angles, like that. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So what we'll do is I'll put a small example of parallel lines here. This is above. So for instance, these two would be parallel, and normally they use this to denote them. They put little little arrows on them. That means they're parallel. Okay. Uh, another uh, here's an example of a perpendicular. So they cross each other, and they create a right angle. Okay. Does that make sense? So they're little examples of those two. So in our first example here, they give us the letter E. What we'll do is we'll use blue for parallel lines. So which lines would you guys consider to be parallel? Like the yeah, and what direction are they going? Are they going vertically or are they going horizontally? horizontally. Yeah, they're going horizontally. So you're right. This one, this one. And what about the middle one? It's not the same length as the other ones. Is it still parallel? Yeah. No. Does technically parallel lines say anything about the same length? No. no. It just says they go in the same direction. How about perpendicular? Are there any perpendicular lines? At the bottom? Yeah, at the bottom of the line. Okay, so here's a perpendicular. At the top, in the yeah, middle? At the top, in the middle. So okay. There's a perpendicular. And what else? Any other ones? Um, in the middle. Another one. So what you could say is we'll highlight these, right? These corners. This is a right angle. This creates a right angle, and this creates a right angle. So all three of these lines are perpendicular to our vertical line. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. How about our letter H here? One parallel. I'll say parallel too, because we need two lines. Vertically, yes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. These would be parallel lines. Anything perpendicular? Um, yeah. Like, um, oh, yeah, to um, the line that's in half the length of the line. The line in the middle? Horizontal. Yeah, that's right. The one yeah. that's horizontal yeah. is perpendicular to both of them, right? So, again, we have another two right angles. So it's perpendicular to both those lines. All right, let's get the next two examples. Okay, um, let's look at our next lines. Are there any parallel lines in our M? Um, the two vertical. Are these the two vertical lines you're talking about? Um, no, the one on the outside. On the outside. Ah, okay. So the two on the outside. You're right. These are both parallel. Do you have any perpendicular lines? No. So this corner here, that's not a right angle, that's not a right angle, and that's not a right angle. So no perpendicular lines, only a set of parallel. How about in the W? Any lines that are parallel? But the outside be parallel. And this we'll one have and to, this one? Yeah, we'll have to go through. But let's think about it. Maybe they'll never touch. So if I extend these, are they eventually going to touch each other? Yeah, they're crossing each other. So are they parallel then? No, because our definition says they can never touch, right? Yeah. Look, if I extended the M lines, they would just go up and down forever. They'll never touch each other, right? Okay. So any parallel in the W? No. no. Any perpendicular? No. No, you're right. None of these angles are right angles. And what about in K? No what? No parallel. Any perpendicular? So this and this isn't a ninety degree. Yeah, 
think this one is too. It's hard to tell, but we could probably go on the assumption this one looks like that might be perpendicular there. Okay, so that might be our only relationship in the K, that those two lines were perpendicular there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah.